Welcome back to Essentials Explained. My name is Luke and today we're going to be talking about how to properly utilize the sum if and count if formulas. Let's jump right into the content. Some if versus some ifs. Why would you use one versus the other? I'm going to tell you always use some ifs. Why? Because it does everything that some if does without any downsides. And it will keep your life much simpler and much easier if you just always use the some ifs. Let's look at why, just in case you're curious, some if only handles one criteria. So it has a range of criteria, a criteria, and then an optional sum range. And so this sum range is the third argument. It's optional. And it's a different syntax than you have in the sum ifs formula. If we look at our sum ifs formula again, and we say we want to use it because we do, our sum ifs formula has a slightly different syntax. It starts with the sum range and then grows criteria range one, criteria one. Handles multiple criteria, which will be very important if you want to build more advanced sum ifs. And this syntax is reusable in all formats. Doesn't matter how many criteria you have, this will always work for you. So just use the sum ifs, don't think about it, forget about it, make your life much easier. So let's talk about what this formula is and how it works. So again, we talked about first argument is the sum range. This is what you want to sum. So this will be your revenue, this will be your quantity, this will be any value column that you want the sum of. Your criteria range will be the range of criteria to check. So that could be paint color, it could be ownership category. Criteria one will be the criteria the range must equal. So it could be red paint, blue paint, corporate, small franchisee. When we look at this sum if formula, and let's look at an example. This is different years for different fruit categories and different revenue associated with it. So let's walk through our first example. One, we want our range of what we want to sum. So D3 through D10 are column that gives us revenue. Next, we want the range of criteria to check, which is C3 through C10. So these are our different categories. And ultimately, what is our criteria that it must equal? And that is B13 or apples. And so we return the value of 50 because Apple's had $10 in revenue in 2020 and then $40 in revenue in 2021. Let's look at one more example to make it really clear. We have our range of what we want to sum, which is still our revenue. We have our range of criteria to check, which in this example we have is our years. And then we finally have a different criteria, which is 2020. And so what we return in this case is 90 because the sum of all of the values in 2020 is equal to 90. So let's look at another example with multiple criteria. So let's say in this instance, we want to understand in 2020, how much revenue did the apples category do? I'm going to start with my range of what I want to sum, which remains my revenue column, D3 through D10. I'm going to select first the range of criteria I want to check, which is my years, B3 through B10. And then my criteria, my range must equal, which is 2020, or I've referred to it with a cell reference of B16. Next, what I want to do is input my second set of criteria. I don't need to input another range I want to sum because I want it to be the same. I only need that one range that I want to sum on. But what I will do is enter another range of criteria to check. And for this next one, what I want to do is I want to check C3 through C10. I want to check the fruit category. And my criteria, I want to be apples because that is what I want. And so what that gives me as an answer is 10 because in 2020, Apple's category achieved $10 in revenue. And that is the only row in this table that matches all those criteria. Now that we understand sum ifs, let's talk about count ifs because they're actually quite a bit simpler than sum ifs because you don't have a sum range to worry about. So all you really need to worry about is criteria range one and criteria one or criteria range two, criteria two. It takes multiple arguments just like the sum ifs. Your criteria range one is your range of criteria to check. Your criteria one is your criteria your range must equal. Let's look at an example. So same setup, year, fruit category, revenue. Revenue we're not going to use. All we need to do is range of criteria to check. This one is going to be fruits. What criteria do we want? We want apples. That gives us an answer of two because there are 
two instances of apples in our criteria range. Pretty simple. Let's look at one more example just to make it really clear. We have our range of criteria to check. This example, it is years. We have our criteria, our range must equal, which in this instance is 2020. And we return a value of four because there are four rows with the value of 2020 in our criteria range. So let's talk about how to do this with multiple criteria. It's very similar to how we did with our sum ifs and very similar to the, the original count ifs formula as you're just gonna repeat the criteria range. So what's our range of criteria we wanna check? The first argument here is the year. Our criteria to check is 2020. And then we're just gonna put in a new range of criteria and a new criteria. So our next criteria range is our fruit category that is C3 through C10. And then our next criteria range will actually just be apples. This will give us a result of one because when I look through this full table, you only see one instance of apples in 2020. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in seeing more examples of how to properly utilize these formulas, please check out the next video in our series linked here. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave any feedback below. Thank you.